Welcome to Morning Stars Three Stock Picks. I'm Holly Black. With me is Nicholas Winding. He's manager of the JP Morgan Japanese Investment Trust. Hello. Hi, Holly. So you're going to talk us through three stocks in the portfolio that you're keen on at the moment. Where would you like to start? Well, why don't we start with the biggest holding in the trust, which is called Kiens. Uh, it's actually been the biggest holding for us for, uh, since 2011. So we've held it for a very long time. Um, it's a company involved in factory automation, and it makes sensors that you use on production lines. Um, and the reason why we like it so much is firstly because it has a very good structural outlook for the industry. Like companies are automating more and more. Now they might do that because they want to have, they've got problems with rising wages in China. They might automate because they're worried about their supply chain being too concentrated in a certain country. And with the pandemic, they might feel that even more. And you might want to automate production uh, for health reasons. Like you don't want lots of people working together. But either way, there's a very strong trend in automation. Secondly, Keynes is global number one, and it has an operating margin, profitability of over 50%, which is probably the most profitable um, factory automation or industrial company anywhere in the world. So it has really key characteristics we're looking for, and an extremely strong balance sheet. In fact, it could survive for 17 years without a single sale, which is a bit overly strong but regardless you know a really strong company as well so that looks good for the next well many years and that's crazy it's been your top holding for nine years has your top 10 positions changed much within that time or do you tend to buy and hold in that way I think the things that we're trying to do, you know, to set us apart from others, I want to hold for much longer uh, than average time periods. I'm trying to make the most of our on the ground location here in Tokyo. Oh, really what we're always trying to think is where will this company be in five or 10 years time? And the ideal is we just keep holding it all the way through. And fortunately in Kian's case, we've been able to do that. Okay, what's stock number two? The second stock is very different. Uh, it's called Cyber Agent. Um, it's uh, and has several businesses, but the main one it has is online advertising. In fact, it's Japan's number one uh, company in online advertising. Um, in many markets, online advertising has been bigger than other areas for a long time now. In fact, in the UK, online got bigger than TV 10 years ago. But in Japan, it's only just starting to cross over. Uh, and so it's still a very long growth runway, many years of growth ahead. It has some other characteristics which we're always looking for. For example, the founder of the company owns 20% of the shares outstanding, um, a very good long-term track record. I mean, these are all things that we're looking for. And we think you know, it's a real disruptor uh, in the industry. Okay. And what is our final stock? The final stock is a much smaller stock. It's called Japan Elevator Service. Um, it does what it says on the tin. It services elevators or lifts in buildings. The reason why that company is so interesting is because in Japan, uh, when it comes to lifts or elevators, uh, only about 20% of the maintenance is done by an independent company. In the West, it's normally 50%, uh, which is done like that. If you outsource maintenance, it's 20 to 50% cheaper. Now, maintenance contracts generate very good free cash flow, um, very profitable, uh, very good growth runway. These are all um, characteristics um, that we're looking for. And you can tell how resilient and defensive it is because you know, during the pandemic, you know, comp everyone still had to service their elevators. In fact, the building where I live, which is a 40 story apartment block, you know, we had to, there was no window cleaning and lots of other things were canceled, but they still by law have to service the elevator. And that's why you get this very attractive uh, cash flow and growth for that company over many years to come. Nicholas, thank you so much for your time. For Morningstar, I'm Holly Black.